Hello friends, welcome to our Healing Prayer Circle. My name is Dharma Devi, and this week our topic is on willingness. I'd like to read to you from Swami Kriyananda's book, Affirmations for Self-Healing, on this topic. If you'd like to, you can close your eyes and listen to these words on willingness. Willingness must be cultivated deliberately. It is an attitude of mind and depends not on outward conditions. Most people are willing or unwilling depending on their likes and dislikes. This habit tends to develop a bias toward unwillingness, which gradually becomes chronic and attracts to itself chronic failure. Don't wait for favorable circumstances to awaken willingness in you. Train yourself in the attitude of saying yes to life. Often by this simple attitude, you will find success arriving unexpected at your door. And in a few minutes, we'll practice the affirmation together. But I just wanted to talk for a moment about willingness and share with you this story that Swami Kriyananda shared. Um, he had been traveling around San Francisco, the Bay Area, and doing many, many classes, doing multiple classes every day in a different city around the Bay Area. And he, his body was just exhausted. He was, at the same time, he was trying to gain the money to start Ananda Village. And also he was answering letters and emails and um, phone calls and all sorts of things. Actually, I imagine emails did not exist at the time, but still much correspondence and a lot of people pulling on him energetically. And so he tells this story. One day he was staying at his parents' home and he came back and his mother said, oh dear, you just look exhausted. You, you have to go lie down and cancel your class this evening. There's no way you can do it. And so he went up to his room and he just collapsed on his bed and, and was feeling very tired. And he began to think about this quality of willingness and energy and where does our energy really come from? And he started going through the list of these things that he was feeling uh, a lack of willingness around. And so one by one, he would say, you know, well, do I really need to set up the chairs before class? And this uh, ego response within him was, no, I, I shouldn't have to do that. And, but then he would go through and he'd say, well, there's no one else to do it right now. And People need a place to sit, and so why not? And that no became a yes, and with that yes, he felt a little increase in his energy. And then he went through and said, well, do I really need to answer all these letters all the time? And he said, well, you know, it seems like the people who are getting these responses from me are really benefiting in their spiritual life, and and so I think it's helpful. So yes, I think I do want to do that. It's, and that no, again, became a yes and a little more energy. And as he went through more and more things, and do I really need to travel around and share these teachings every night with different people? And um, no matter how big or small the crowds are. And, and he, he said, you know, of course, it doesn't matter how many people are there. And again, that no became a very big yes. And he felt this surge of energy within him and um, he, he just jumped out of bed and he said he had so much energy and his, his mother, you know, thinking that he had taken a nap and uh, now just had this rejuvenated um, energy about him, he, she said, wow, well, you look much better and uh, you must have had a nice nap and he said yes mother and and went on to the class and it happened to be that that class was on energy and he said it was the best class that he ever gave on energy so if we can cultivate this quality of willingness and saying yes to life and even if it's going through each of those things those 
those duties in our life that maybe feel mundane and and feel like they just kind of drag our our energy down if we can look at each one and and recognize the value and why it is that we're doing each of these things and we can make that that unwillingness turn it into a sense of willingness then really the energy that we're tapping into is this infinite source of energy it doesn't belong to us it isn't that we have um, just a little bit of energy within us it's that we're we're closing off the flow of energy from that infinite source when we have that lack of willingness the more willing we are the more enthusiasm we can bring to everything that we do the more we'll be able to tap into that infinite flow of energy and then just have that all day no matter what we're doing and a sense of joy that accompanies that willingness. So before we do our affirmation, let's sit upright, close your eyes, and begin to tune into your breath. <clears throat> Lift your gaze gently as if you're looking out at a distant mountain peak. Take a few deep inhalations and exhalations. Feel with each inhalation you're drawing in joy, willingness. And each exhalation, feel that you're casting out any limitations, any unwillingness. Check that your posture is good, a nice straight spine, chin parallel to the floor, palms upturned. This is also a receptive fashion that is willing the energy in, into the spine, into the center of our being. Go through your body now, starting at the tips of your toes, gently tensing, relaxing the feet, feel a fresh flow of energy coming in, tense the calves and relax, the thighs, relax, tense the buttock, relax. Lower abdomen, relax. Tense the upper stomach, relax. Tense the hands and the forearms, making fists, drawing in new fresh energy, relax and feel. Tensing the upper arms, relax. The chest, relax the neck. Relax, tense your face, furl your eyebrows, relax, and feel just this fresh flood of energy coming into every body part. You can visualize it as a glowing, beautiful light flooding your whole being, <clears throat> body, mind, and soul. And now let's affirm together this affirmation for willingness, keeping the eyes closed and the gaze uplifted. If you can, start out loud, saying this affirmation out loud after me. I welcome everything that comes to me as an opportunity for further growth. And again, out loud, drawing the awareness of the conscious mind I welcome everything that comes to me as an opportunity for further growth. And now taking it a little softer in a regular speaking voice, I welcome everything that comes to me as an opportunity for further growth. I welcome everything that comes to me 
as an opportunity for further growth. And now in a whisper, bringing it into the subconscious mind, I welcome everything that comes to me as an opportunity for further growth. Again in a whisper, I welcome everything that comes to me as an opportunity for further growth. And now silently, mentally broadcasting it at the point between the eyebrows with deepest attention, bringing it to the superconscious level. I welcome everything that comes to me as an opportunity for further growth. Again, mentally, I welcome everything that comes to me as an opportunity for further growth. Continue broadcasting the affirmation if you'd like or just sitting and enjoying the silence and stillness. And now begin to bring to mind anyone you know in need of healing energy. You can visualize them at the point between the eyebrows or just say their names out loud or silently, bringing them in to this circle of light, visualizing them being flooded with divine energy and willingness. See their soul nature, smiling, joyful, being blessed with unconditional love. And visualize that energy going out in all directions, blessing all those you know your family, friends, co-workers, out further blessing everyone in your city, in your state, country, the entire planet. See the earth being blessed that divine energy flowing deep into the soil, deep into the earth, into the water, into the air. Visualize all creatures, all souls being blessed everywhere. And bringing the palms together in front of the heart Let's pray together. Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all Thy children. Thou art in these souls. Manifest Thy healing presence in all bodies, minds, and souls. And rubbing the palms together, visualize hands. Now holding the palms upturned, let's chant OM together three times for body, mind, and soul. Oh. Oh. You can hold the hands here for a few moments, continuing to 
channel that divine energy through you being a pure channel of love and blessings of divine mother of whatever form of the infinite you hold dear and when you're ready bringing the palms back together in prayer gently bowing the head and offering a silent prayer of gratitude 